Okay guys, in today's video we're going to be talking about how to calibrate the rangefinder to the lens on the Argus C3 camera, which a lot of people call it the brick camera because it looks like a brick. Now what a lot of people don't know is that this lens is actually removable and there was two more lenses available. The two lenses were a 100mm 4.5 and also a 35mm 4.5. You can, you can still find them on eBay. They're rather expensive compared to the to original lens, which is the the, the 50 millimeter 3.5. But anyways, let's talk about how to remove the lens and how to calibrate it. So the first thing you want to do when removing it, you want to turn your lens, want to turn it counterclockwise until it's at the three for position. After that, you, there's a screw right here on the idler gear, which you want to turn counterclockwise this way until it comes off. And there you have it. Set that aside. Now you want to remove the idler gear. Then, to, to remove the lens, you just turn counterclockwise until you feel resistance. Turn again some more, and it will come off. It's a screw mount. Unfortunately, it's 33 millimeter and not the like a 35 or the Pentax 42. So unfortunately, it's hard to adapt to other bodies. But anyways, there it is removed. You could you could clean up your shutter if you want the back of the lens. It's actually a really nice one. One of my favorite things about this lens is the aperture is actually circular all the way down to f16. Here's our f. 3.5 and you close it down all the way to F16 and it's circular the whole way which you rarely see on standard lenses you only see this on the high end lenses but yeah so anyways and then if you want to reinstall the lens or you want to you want to put in the 100 millimeter or 35 millimeter all you do is you screw it back on screw it on you turn it clockwise until you feel some resistance and then you turn it in more until it goes in all the way okay now to, to calibrate it you're gonna turn the lens until a bunch of teeth are like in, in this section so you see a bunch of teeth on this side you see a bunch of teeth, teeth on this side now what you wanna do is put back the idler gear and you turn it all the way clockwise until the lens is all the way down because you see where it's you turn this way it goes up and you turn this way it goes all the way down you want it all the way down because that's an infinity then you want to remove the idler gear and turn the rangefinder gear until it's at the inf infinity mark the infinity mark it looks like a number eight. Then after that, you want to replace the idler gear, but you want to make sure not to turn the lens or turn the rangefinder gear. The idler gear has to go in in such a manner where it doesn't turn any of them. So you see, I just I removed this on an accident, so I have to do it again. So put the idler gear. Turn the lens until it goes all the way down, all the way clockwise. Now I remove the idler gear, put the range finder on the infinity mark, and I gotta replace the gear, making sure I don't turn the lens, making sure I don't turn the range finder. Okay, so now I put it back in, I didn't move the lens, I didn't move the range finder. Now you wanna turn it counterclockwise until you're at the three foot mark, then just replace. The 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 idler gear screw. Just put it back on. It turns clockwise. And there you go. The rangefinder is calibrated and the lens is back on. And you sh it should be working fine now. Uh, the instructions for that I got it from the manual. I have the link down below. You can read the instructions how to do it there. So if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. Thanks for watching the video.